Welcome to the QB Sales Data Video Library. This video will show you how to use the Contact Data Sync feature within QB Sales Data. The Contact Data Sync is used to push address changes between ACT and QuickBooks or QuickBooks and ACT. Now note that this uh, address push is one way, meaning that either ACT will overwrite QuickBooks or QuickBooks will overwrite ACT. So let's show you how that works. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your mapping is set properly within the QB Sales Data product. So we can go to Tools, QB Sales Data Import, and click on the Set Mapping button. And you want to make sure that your address fields and other associated fields are set appropriately between QuickBooks, this left-hand column, and ACT. Right? And so key things you want to uh, focus on is making sure that fields like the email address, zip code, and so on are all matching between ACT and QuickBooks. Once you have that set up, then the other thing to note is we only will sync records that have this QB primary contact field checked right here. Okay, so um, if you are starting with a brand new ACT database, after you link records, you want to make sure that this box is checked. And that's mainly because in some cases you may have multiple contacts in ACT linked to one customer in QuickBooks. And we need you to tell us or our program which of those multiple contacts should be used to push address changes to QuickBooks. Okay? If you have brought all of your QuickBooks customers over from ACT, or I'm sorry, from QuickBooks to ACT, and you want to set the primary contact checkbox for all of them at once, there is a way to do that. I can actually right click on this QB internal ID field and say look up QB internal ID and let's say everybody that contains data, meaning everybody that's linked to QuickBooks, in ACT. When I click OK, it brings up 139 contacts. And in this case, I want to set that checkbox for all 139 contacts. I can do that in ACT by going to Edit, Replace Field, choosing that QB Primary Contact field, and clicking the checkbox. When I hit OK, it's going to prompt me, are you sure you want to do this? I say yes. And all 139 contacts now have the checkbox checked on their record. Okay, now that we have that set, we can actually go ahead and show you how those address changes work. So in this case, let's use ABC Chiropractic, and I want to change some of this information. So let's say, for example, their phone number changes from all sevens. Let's make that to all fours. Okay, and I'm going to add a suite number to their address, and let's actually change the email address to ABC Chiropractic.com. Okay, and I'll hit save on that record. And now, um, what companies typically do is they will once a day or once a week push these changes from ACT to QuickBooks and we typically recommend that customers uh, once they have the link set up, the QB sales data link, that they make all their address changes in ACT and push them to QuickBooks. But obviously you can go either direction. In order to push those address changes I would go to Tools, QB sales data import, and there's a tab here called Contact Data Sync. And when I click on that tab, you see I have these options. I can pick which direction I want the sync to go. So in this case, I'm going to go from ACT to QuickBooks. And I can run it on all the contacts, meaning all the contacts in the database that have the QB primary contact box checked. Or I can run it on a current lookup if I want to just run it on a smaller set of contacts. And I can choose whether to include contact and email fields. Normally, you will have that checked. In this case, let's do all contacts. So let's go ahead and hit the sync button and we'll see that that data then uh, pushes over from ACT to QuickBooks. Once again, we told the ACT addresses to overwrite the addresses in QuickBooks. So notice it's reading through the records in ACT down at the bottom, and it's overwriting the QuickBooks addresses for all of those records that, number one, are linked from ACT to QuickBooks, and number two, have the QB primary contact checkbox checked. So you'll see, and if you have a, a, a lot of contacts, obviously this will take a little bit longer. In my case, I just have 145, um, but it'll zip through those. 
And then when it's complete, it'll tell you complete in the lower left. When we close out of here, we can actually then use the edit record in QB uh, button on the toolbar to see those changes on the QuickBook side. And here you can see that uh, we changed the phone number to be all fours. We changed the address to have a suite and we changed the uh, email address to the ABC Chiropractic. And that is it. So all you have to do then once this is set up and you have your primary contact boxes checked is once again just go into Tools, QB Sales Data Import, and Contact Data Sync tab once a day or once a week to push those addresses between ACT and QuickBooks. Thanks for your time today and we hope you enjoy our product.